Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to look at a question from Pat Guide, KO4SVH. He has a very simple question. I have an N-fed antenna from house to tree. Somehow it got against the gutter down spout. Is that what's making the SWR too high? Maybe, maybe not. I can't get it off, so I plan to pad the downspout with rubber. Will that help? Yes. Uh, thank you. Okay, let's take a look at what the situation is that he's got. He's got um, a tree here. Okay. In all its glory. And he's got his house here, and he's got a gutter downspout. He's got the antenna attached to the tree and it's touching that gutter downspout and he says his SWR is now different implying that something has changed in the way he has put the thing together. Now the question is is this insulated or uninsulated wire. If it is insulated, the chances it, of it touching here and having a big problem is lower. If it is uninsulated, it can uh, wipe in the wind against the downspout and actually make electrical contact, and that would be a problem. What I would suggest, of course, wrapping this with some kind of non-insulating material would help. But what would also help is if you can grab that wire right there and attach a string to it or something to pull it away from the downspout. Uh, or you can put a spacer on the downspout that holds the wire away, a wooden spacer like a uh, one foot or something like that. One foot's about all you need. Okay, and that is going to help. Um, now, of course, the tree moves back and forth, and as it moves, it uh, puts a strain on that. So I imagine you've taken that into account so that uh, it's up to a point on the tree that doesn't move a whole lot. Don't put it way up high in the tree because that does move quite a bit in the wind. Uh, the trunk, about two-thirds of the way up, is a good place. Um, let's see. That The other option is moving the uh, point where it connects to the house. If you're willing to drill a little hole and uh, put some rubber gasket material or something here so that the thing feeds from here and then bring the coax down here. Uh, you've got a ground over here. I'm assuming that you need something like that with one of these. And it should probably work. So those are some uh, thoughts for you. Get that wire away from the downspout. Again, a simple way is to just attach a string to it to another part of the eaves and kind of pull it away a little bit so that it stays away from it and you'll have fewer problems. Uh, let's see. So there you have it. I hope that helps. And Pat, uh, good luck with your antenna and getting on HF. Uh, now, remember that the SWR of antennas uh, do change with the uh, seasons and the heat and cold and whether it's raining and uh, whether there's snow on the ground and things like that. So uh, minor changes in SWR are, are normal, okay, and your tuner in your radio should be able to take care of that with no problem. So there you have it. If you would like to support this channel financially, you may all go to decastlercom slash support and pick a way that works for you. Until we next meet, 73.